Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to get the remainder of a division. And that is going to allow us to find out whether a number is odd or even. And that itself has a number of uses in programming. So let's get started. I'm going to create a variable called integer division and make it equal to 13 divide divide 5. Remember that when we do integer division, what we're doing is we're performing normal division, so 13 divided by 5, which gives us 2.6, and then we're dropping everything after the decimal place, so that means we end up with 2, because 5 goes into 13 twice. If we print this out, then you'll see that the print output is 2. Now, if we wanted to get the remainder of the division, which is 3, then Python gives us a nice way of doing that with the modulus operator. Let's get the remainder of this division by doing 13 modulus 5. Notice that this modulus operator is the percent symbol. When you do 13 modulus 5, Python will divide and then calculate what is left over. So if we print the remainder, then you'll see that the output will be first 2 and then 3. And there you have them. So again, if we want to find out whether a number is odd or even, we can use the modulus operator. Have a look at these numbers and see if you spot a pattern. We've got the number 10, 14, 6 and 340, all of them divided by 2. What would the remainder of this division be if we evaluate it? And for all of these numbers, which are all even, the remainder of division by 2 is always 0. That is what characterizes even numbers as even, that when they're divided by 2, there is no remainder. Similarly, if you get some odd numbers, you'll see that the pattern is inverted in a way, and you get 11 divided by 2, 27 divided by 2, and 3 divided by 2, and the remainder in all of these cases is always 1. For example, for 11 divided by 2, 2 goes into 11 5 times, you get 10, and then 11 minus 10 gives you a remainder of 1. So again, for every even number, the remainder when divided by 2 is always 0. And for every odd number, the remainder when divided by 2 is always 1. So we can use this knowledge to check whether any arbitrary number is odd or even. Let's say we've got an arbitrary number 37. This could be the user's age, or it could be the row number in a table, or something like that. And then we want to calculate whether it is odd or even. What we have to do is we have to get the modulus operator and calculate the remainder of this number when divided by 2. So we will say remainder equal x percent 2. Now, notice that we've got this variable remainder, which we used earlier on. That's totally fine. This is just a variable name. You can call it whatever you want. You can even reuse a previous variable name, and that's fine. What we've done here is we've got the value x modulus 2, which is the remainder of the division, and we've said that the remainder variable that we created earlier is now a name for this value. So that just reassigns that variable. If we print it out, you'll see that the output should be 1. But before running, I'm just going to delete this code here. And now let's run this. You see that we get 1 back, which tells us this number here is odd. Think about this. Have you ever seen a table online where each row has a different color? So for example, the first row is gray, second one's white, third one's gray, the fourth one's white. So you've got like this sort of pattern. This is a perfect example of where the remainder or being able to calculate whether a number is odd or even comes into play. They are probably using this to only target the even rows and color them in a gray background. Throughout the course, we may also encounter other instances where this can be useful. But that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.